Kurt and Brenda Warner are household names. Sure, everyone remembers when Kurt brought home a Super Bowl win with the Rams, but this family gives back to fans here every year. Fox 2's Timmy Zell is with them in Alton, Illinois. He has more on a big surprise from the Warners. Good morning, Tim. Hey, good morning, Kim. That's right, we are in Alton, Illinois with a couple of familiar faces. Kurt and Brenda Warner, welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to be back. It's so good to have y'all here. And once again, back doing some amazing things in our community. Y'all have always given back to this community so much. And this is a special opportunity to bless a single mom. No doubt about it. You know, we come back to St. Louis and a lot of people say, well, this is where it all started. And it did to a big degree with my football career. But Brendan and I know that the story started way before that. And, you know, one of the big parts of our story was trying to get to that point and home ownership and bouncing around from one place to another. And that's what's so exciting when we come back for our Homes for the Holidays program and we get a chance to bless a single parent, a single mom like Brenda was when I met her with, uh, you know, with the help of home ownership. And uh, it's a great program. We love St. Louis and, and this area and the fact that uh, they continue to support everything that we're doing. Kurt mentioned it, Brenda, this is near and dear to your heart. To be able to bless a mom like Natasha means everything. It is. I mean, it's a full circle. When I met Kurt, like he said, I had two kids and on food stamps, you know, just wondering how I was going to make it work. And so to be able to look her in the eye and say, I've been where you are and there's hope, there's help, and uh, we're all in this together. So it's a full circle and I get to do this. Yeah, it's through Habitat for Humanity that Natasha gets the house. And you, in partnership with Aaron, y'all have furnished the place. Yeah, did a great job. This is looking nice, right? <laughs> I mean, it looks great. I mean, we love that every time to just step in. And you just know the kind of impact that it's going to have long term. For a parent, you remember the confidence that you gained by going home ownership. But I think more than that, being parents of seven kids, it's about giving your kids a place to call home, to, to build memories, to invite their friends, to have sleepovers. And so you know this is going to be a blessing for, for years to come. Can we show some bedrooms here? Yeah, yeah you bet. you got to see these bedrooms. First, the daughter's bedroom, oh, it's so the cute. walls. Don't you, don't you love the painting yeah, in here? Grandpa evidently painted the clouds. And the little girl painted, I think it's a whale, Yeah. Um, but unicorn bed, and she asked for all of this. So it'll be a big surprise. She has no idea that and, all this is furnished. And I think that's one of the coolest things about what Habitat does is the people that come in and get the home ownership, they put in sweat equity. And so right. they've come in and painted the walls or, or did part uh, of the rehabbing of the home. And so it's not just what they say, a handout, but a hand up that they're just uh, they're adding to the hard work and commitment of this family and that to me is what's so cool about it. Natasha has no idea that the Warners have helped furnish the home for them. They know they have the home. They know it's being dedicated today, but they have no idea that it's already furnished and ready to ready to go yeah. for day one right now. Here's the deal. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. This is the 54th home y'all have done nationwide, the 23rd in the St. Louis area. Does it ever get old? Uh, it, it doesn't. And, right. you know, it's funny that we just flew in for the day. And I think there's times where you're like, oh, man, we we got to fly all the way there. And we're there for 24 hours. And is it worth it? And then you come and you see the families and you see the reaction and you understand the impact. And you're like, my God, what were we thinking? This is what <laughs> it's all about. This is what our blessings are all about. And, and we've tried to tried to stay focused on that through all the, the highs and lows and ups and downs of the journey. And so it is these moments and the yeah. moments when the kids get to see their room where their mom gets to step into the house for the first time. And just the reaction, is it gonna be screams? Is it gonna be craziness? Some people just go quiet because they don't have any idea what to say, and, but, but, but that is definitely the best part and it sticks with you. Seeing that look on her face, what's that do for you, Brenda? Oh my gosh, brings tears to your eyes. And he's the crier, so he always cries. But I mean, it's just such a beautiful moment. And you just know she, she feels like she's loved. And that's the most important thing for us is that we're in this together. Well, thank you so much for y'all's investment and continued investment in the St. Louis area and nationwide. We really appreciate it. Oh, man, thank thanks, for, thanks for being with us. Yeah, a blessing to St. Louis and the country in general with all they're doing through this work. Thank you so much. Thank you.